All right, guys, if you are sick of matrices, then I don't know what's wrong with you, because this is multiplying matrices part two. Now, we've already covered that the first thing you should look for when you're multiplying matrices is their dimensions. And we said that if you have a matrix A and you're multiplying it by matrix B, that the number of columns in the first matrix needs to be the same as the number of rows in your second matrix. So, if that's the case, then our matrix will have a 3 by 3 dimension. The outer two numbers tell you what the dimensions are. The inner two numbers tell you whether it's possible. So, A, B in this case would have a 3 by 3. Now, in the last video, we covered multiplying square matrices. Here, we're going to get a little bit more complicated. So, buckle up and let's do this. Let's say we've got, let's use, let's use G. Let's say we've got G as a matrix and it is like this. One, four, uh, three, negative two, negative five, zero. And we're multiplying it times matrix B. I guess I should have used H there, you know, G, A, but oh well, G and B. Let's say B is this. Three, uh, negative eight, and seven. Okay, so first thing we look for, dimensions of the two matrices we're multiplying. This matrix is a two by three, and this matrix is a three by two. The inner two numbers are the same, the number of columns equal the number of rows, so we are good. This, this multiplication is possible. So the outer two numbers will tell us all the dimensions of our product. So, GB is going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, let's figure out what that matrix will be. So, what I like to do is draw the matrix, leaving yourself plenty of room to do your arithmetic. Okay? Now, I probably won't have enough room because this lens isn't wide enough angle, and that's a whole other conversation. So, it's a two by two, so we're gonna have this position, this position, this position, and this position. So, let's move to our first row, first column position. We get the information we need from G, first row, times the first column in B. So, one times two, which is just two, plus three times negative two, which is negative six, and then plus negative five times one, which is just negative five. Moving over, this is still the first row, but now we're in the second column. So we get first row, second column. So one times three is three, plus three times negative eight, which is negative 24, plus negative five times seven, which is negative 30. Then, move on down. We've got the second row now, so we move to the second row, but we're still in the first column, so second row, first column. So, 4 times 2 gives me 8, 8. Negative 2 times negative 2 gives me positive 4. And then 0 times 1 is just 0. So that's our whole position right there, 8 plus 4. Then move over, second row, second column, second row, second column. So first times first, four times three is 12. Negative two times negative eight is positive 16. And zero times seven is still zero. Our last step is just to do the arithmetic and find our point, find our elements. So two minus six gives me negative four, minus five gives me negative nine. 8 plus 4 gives me 12. Moving over here, I've got 3 minus 24. That gives me negative 21. Minus 35. That would give me negative 56. Down here, 12 plus 18 gives me 28. And that would be our answer. 
So that is multiplying matrices with different positions. Remember, first row, first column, first row, first column, first row, second column, first row, second column. First thing to check for is the dimensions, make sure it's feasible, figure out the dimensions of your product and go from there.